What's up guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you my complete chest workout with only using minimal equipment. But before we go on this video, it helps a lot guys, seriously, if you could click that subscribe button and like button. If you don't, I'm watching you just click, go ahead and click right there. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, so anyways, in this video, I will be taking you through the chest workout, like I said, with only using a pair of dumbbells, a barbell, and a bend. And a couple other exercises you can improvise, which I will explain in this video for you guys first things first we have the warm-up I don't care who you are you always have to warm up because it's just gonna prevent injury as you see here the first thing I do to warm up is arm circles followed by some band pull parts and I usually go three sets 10 to 15 reps just to get as much blood in the muscles as possible and then after that I do a rotator cuff exercise just because there's a lot of injuries in the rotator cuff when benching and then the last thing, I do band pull apart because when you bench, you use a lot of your lat muscles and then this warms up your entire back. So for the first exercise, it is decline barbell bench press. As you can see here, I'm just starting off with a bar just so I can get acclimated to the setup of the bench. And then as you can see by my feet, I use some extra plates as leverage for the decline so you can use any household item if you have some books or anything you can find just to give you a different angle for your chest and another thing to notice for the bench press is so the farther your hand placement is the more chest activation you will have and the closer your hands are placed then the more triceps you'll be using as you can see here and then another major tip is also squeeze all the way at the top and you want to imagine that you're squeezing like a pencil or something in between your chest it always helps too to have a spotter when you're benching because as you can see here I have my cousin Liam he's spotting me and he's helped these reps are fairly tough because I think it's the last side here so he's just using his fingers just to help guide him up just so I can get those four reps and really tear those muscle fibers for optimal growth so the second exercise is the inclined barbell bench press and to be honest with you guys this was really challenging my chest was already fairly fatigued so you won't be able to go too heavy in this weight i say just focus on the mind muscle connection going moderate weight not too heavy and then progressive overload too so keep increasing the weight the barbell incline bench press is a great exercise because it works the upper pectoral muscles and i'd say for the most part people have a lacking upper chest just because they're just the first exercise they go to when they think of the chest is flat and when you're flat bench pressing you're not usually hitting too much of your upper chest so definitely changing up the angles so like we did the first exercise doing the decline so that's more hitting your lower chest and then this exercise hitting your upper chest just so it's a full, nice full chest. You don't wanna just train, get used to training the same area of your chest. You wanna train the medial too as well, which we will do later in this workout. Another thing to take note on is you wanna have your scapula retract in the back. So what I mean by that is you wanna flex your back as tight as you can, and you wanna have a little space underneath your back just so you can really force that chest to squeeze all the way at the top. If you're not squeezing, your back you're definitely not going to be able to be as strong as you would if you were squeezing your back and as you can see here i'm using a bell i'm just using it for a little more stability just because it's fairly heavy weight for me and like i said on this exercise you're gonna have to drop your ego and you won't be able to do too heavy of weight because we're doing high volume uh, we're starting off with 15 reps on this one so you can only do so much weight with the high amount of reps so you want to take notice in that you don't want to put too much weight in the bar they can only do five to six reps on so the next exercise is weighted dips i'd say if you can't do more than 12 to 15 reps body weight you shouldn't be added any weight just focus on using your weight for these dips i know this is a limited equipment chest workout but you can improvise on this one and just use like two chairs you'll get all the same benefit when performing this exercise after the dips we have some tricep flexes ah just kidding guys we actually have some dumbbell fly so this is definitely an old school bodybuilding exercise on this one i see a lot of people doing it wrong you can have slight bending your elbows just so it's not too much 
tension on your shoulders. Uh, you can definitely hurt yourself if you go too heavy. Go fairly light on this exercise. It's not meant to go super heavy. Um, you're already put at a disadvantage. And then another thing, you can see I put my feet up, that's just on my chest. And then shout out to big dog Liam. He's my cousin. He actually helped me film this video. Just so shout out to him. I wouldn't be able to film this ultimate chest workout without you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Like I said, I keep my feet up just to create all the tension on my chest. You also want to focus on your breathing because that is definitely crucial when working out. You have to get the proper breathing pattern to get all the benefit you need. And then same thing, you want to make sure your back is fairly tight just so you get that arch support at the bottom and you are working at your optimal strength level. And to finish this workout, this is landmines. I honestly don't usually do this exercise too often, so it's good to throw it in the workout. It's a good finisher. I believe we did like two sets till failure, and this was definitely a burner. It's a hard, it's a lot harder than it looks. I know it doesn't look like that much weight, but you should try it out. And you just stick the barbell in any corner of your house, and you should be able to do this exercise. So this workout will be posted in the description along with the tempo so you guys know when to take your rest breaks and to follow this workout completely and along in the description I'll post my social media so if you have any questions feel free to hit me up and I'll do my best to answer and like I said before make sure you guys hit that subscribe and like button it makes all the difference in this YouTube world so I appreciate you watching me I hope you learned something in this video it's definitely <coughs> It's definitely a gruesome chest workout and my chest is still sore and I'm filming this four days after the chest workout. So I wish you guys luck in the comments below. Tell me how you liked it, what you didn't like, or even what kind of videos you guys want to see. Anyways, I'll see you. I think it's time to end this video. I will see you in the next one actually. Bye YouTube.